Shalom Shalom all praise hani ni nguri to Yahawa Bahashem Yahoshai Bahashem Rakaha Kadash and Abu Hanat Zelda and the apostles of the Mystery who will well a peace and blessing and salutation to you who are pushing this truth to the foreigners of the heaven and be on the forefront of this spiritual war and to make sure Jerusalem is established as a praise here on this again as in the days of old so this is a book of Ezekiel 12 I started with verse 21 and saying the and the word of the Lord Yahabashim Yashai came unto me saying son of man what is that proverb that he have in the land of Israel saying the days are prolonged and every vision fails so as this lesson was inspired uh, from a phone call I got yesterday <laughs> basically you have this one individual uh, see, in which I I used to teach him I used to teach him occasionally it's because we were living in the same way years I went into the Moti B I went into a world you see because he is a Muslim I went into all of that is the final the final showdown in between uh, Judaism and Islam and uh, At that time he was like nani chalant and uh, he was like hey amen even if that will happen it ain't gonna happen in our lifetime and as there was another nigga in which he, uh, he spoke concerning the moti b and when i said you, you ain't gonna be able to buy and sell so the nigga said ah it involve money if it involve money i don't even care if they put uh, the chip all the way to the battle <laughs> to my battle literally man he said like that so yesterday he he called me this 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 one individual he called me uh, see, and, uh, he, he was kind of afraid of what is going on in the middle east man and, and it reminded me of ezekiel 12 man i uh, continue verse 23 Tell them there for that says the Lord you have bashed me a shall make this proverb to cease and they shall no more use it as a proverb in Israel but say unto them the day at hand and as a effect of every vision you see we are not saying any more what you see will come you see we are at the beginning stage of what you see we are not saying any more the more to be uh, 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 the prophets of the Moti B will come. We are seeing the infrastructure. We are seeing uh, uh, this different uh, government and the corporation is uh, pivoting toward or what uh, another word is, is they are configuring toward that uh, very same vision. So it is not a far-fetched vision. For there shall be no more any vision, any vain vision, nor flattering divination within the house of Israel. For I am the Lord, I will speak, and the words that I shall speak shall come to pass. It shall be no more prolonged. For in your days, this day, all rebellious house will I say word, and I will perform it, says the Lord. You see? So from there, let me get the book of Second Peter and Shree. Certainly, we see knowing this face is that there shall come in the last day, scoffers walking after their own lust. And, she, and saying, Where is the promise of his coming? For since his father fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of the creation. Like now, they are not saying that anymore. They are afraid. These people outside, outside the ministry, they are afraid. They are like, What if those niggas were light? What if this? What if that? For this is the, the willing and ignorant of that by the word of the Moshiach, the heaven you are old, and the earth standing out of the waters in the water. Whether well, by the word that then he was being overthrown with the waters perished, by the heaven and the earth which are now, by the same way they are kept in store, they saved unto fire. That was going to the second death. You see, he went into the first death, then the second death, which will, will, will come through the summer nuclear war against the day of judgment and the petition of one golden man. And when that individual called me, I scared the shit out of him, man. Eh? <laughs> I scared the shit out of him. I told him, hey, man, you, you ain't seen nothing yet, man. Habakkuk 22, and the Lord answered, 
and I say it lights the vision and make it plain upon tables. That's what we are doing, man. Going to this breakdown, making everything plain. And that's what I did. I expounded to them. I went into uh, the technicality of the Moti B. I went into the technicality of the Rufodioshi. And that nigga have been with me. He was not just somebody I used to, 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 to stay on the same, let's say, somebody you, you, you always see on, your, on, the, on the neighborhood. No, we used to stay in the same room when I was, I was back in the university. So I used to teach him a lot of things, man. And he is into, into, into a forex exchange, so he understands how uh, economic works, man. And yesterday I expounded to him more. I told him, hey, look, man, and now the, the, the American um, empire is, is going out of fashion. And they ain't gonna go down without a fight. And that's what is called, that's where you get what you see. So it is inevitable. If you put aside the Bible, let's just talk economics and the geopolitics. What you see is coming, man. That he may learn that leadership for the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end he shall speak in no lie, though it tell wait for it because he surely come. It will not tell. It is not telling anymore. So you scoffers may stay on your lane, man. You see, I am not saying that you can't repent. You can repent, but a lot of you, you are going to die. So, we see this, I say, I hope you brothers were edified.